years ago we had not imagined that we will produce test tube rhinos but right now the science and technology have developed and right now we are in that situation that we are not just producing test tube human babies we are also producing test tube rhinos and other animals hello friends welcome to the in new series of drishti ias i am ritu and today's session is about test tube rhinos so this session is important for gs3 perspective moving towards the points of discussion part first of all we are going to discuss the news and then we are going to discuss the process is the challenge and then we are also going to discuss the issue of genetic viability being a northern white is it worth of the money and practice question for prelims before that you have to like share and subscribe to the drishti is english channel moving to the news part so last week the scientists announced the first ever rhino pregnancy achieved through surrogacy or test tube so there is a long history behind that in 2018 what we have known that you know the northern white rhino species has been become extinct and there are only two female species who are left into this whole world and because of that the scientists had decided that they will reproduce baby through test tube or via surrogacy because there were two female only available and uh, no male are available so the natural reproduction could not happen and why they are doing this through uh, surrogacy because the two female uh, white rhino are present are not pathologically well and due to pathological or medical reasons they could not conceive so that's why southern uh, white rhino has been chosen to surrogate this northern white rhino babies so this is the news we are going to discuss in today's session moving to the next slide next slide is about that process is the challenge so as i have already told you that uh, there were two males uh, who were suni and sudan and uh, they died uh, in that uh, natural environment because they were taken to a natural environment so that these two male can conceive with najin and her daughter fatu but uh, the male species died and the female species left but they could not conceive because of the medical reasons so this has become a very challenging situation and because of that uh, the southern white rhino had decided that uh, they will surrogate uh, the northern white uh, rhino babies so this pro whole process is very challenging because the breeds are very different and it's also very uh, difficult to know the oestrus period of that women and what happened that a teaser is launched who is a sterilized bull and uh, that will decide that the female is interested for mating or not so there will be the fake uh, mating process and in that process they will inject that sperm to that uh, white you know, southern white rhino so this whole process becomes very difficult and very tedious to reproduce a northern white rhino but the scientists had decided to take this difficult project and right now uh, they had decided to plant 30 embryos into this southern white female uh, rhinos so this is the problem and uh, how uh, we are thinking that you know how this still uh, the test tube rhinos are not born yet but still uh, we are hoping that they will become the successful moving to the next one uh, which is uh, issue of genetic viability so as uh, they will be reproduced through ivf so there is also problem with genetic viability because the sperm consist of northern male and also they want to produce northern white rhino but uh, the body of the female is southern white rhino so there is also problem with genetic viability because the child will take the uh, what you can say the features and traits of the both like southern white rhino also and the northern white rhino also in that situation it's very difficult for the scientists that how to make that northern white rhino behaviorally or physically to just like a normal uh, northern white rhino so they had decided that they will produce that children and they will take that children to the female northern uh, white rhino who, uh, who are the fatu and uh, nazil but uh, 
they are already uh, like 35 and 24 at the age and their age is very limited because they maximum uh, live through 40 years of age. So, in that short period of time, it is very difficult to make northern white rhino behaviorally uh, to behave like a northern white rhino. So, in that situation, it is also a problem of genetic viability that whether maybe in a physical appearance, we will be able to produce the northern white rhino, but how we will be able to behave like a northern white rhino because these children will be behave like a, a southern white rhino because they are produced through a southern white rhino female. So, this is also the problem of genetic viability in this case. Moving to the next slide, uh, that is it worth of money? So, so many scientists have speculated that this is not a right choice and right decision to make. And so many scientists have also questioned that why we need northern white rhino. Uh, so, there is also a problem because this uh, species has been nearly extinct. And also the southern white rhinos are also not in a great number. So, instead of focusing on northern white rhino, we should focus on that species which are already left in few numbers and it is very easy for them to protect. But it's it will be very expensive process to uh, recreate or reproduce a northern white rhino whose species are not available in the environment. So, this is also a matter of the question, but many scientists are hopeful towards this and via surrogacy and via IVF, they had decided that they will produce the children and uh, this uh, expensive project will become successful. So, um, right now we cannot say that is it worth of money. Uh, we can say after the children are born and when we have a good ecosystem, when we have a good eco balance after the introduction of northern white rhino. But right now, we cannot say that is it worth of money or worth of effort or not. But it is very important to preserve the species who are becoming nearly threatened, vulnerable and extinct. So, in that scenario, it is a giving a message that before coming to this kind of the situation where no male species are left and in that situation, scientists had to also take extra effort to reproduce uh, children uh, to a very particular species. So, in that scenario, the humans uh, have to take the inspiration from this because in Africa, we can see that many rhinos are posed and uh, almost in every 16 hours, one rhino is posed. So, the poaching and gambling is and also the selling is another kind of problem for the wild animals. So, we need to be very careful regarding these things and uh, we should have a strict protocol to preserve the wild animals. So, that is why uh, this currently this is not the worth of money. Moving to the practice question for prelims. So, the question is what is the IUCN status of northern white rhino? And the first option is critically endangered, the second is extinct, third is nearly threatened and fourth is vulnerable. Here they are asking the northern white rhino. So, the uh, Category can be deferred when they will ask just white rhino. So, here you have to be very careful that what they are asking. They are asking southern white rhino, northern white rhino or just white rhino. So, on the basis of that, you have to answer in the comment section. I hope you like this session. If you have any queries related to this session, kindly ask in the comment section. Thank you. For more informative content, like, share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications.